Once this manatee is rescued, it will be immediately taken to Orlando. SeaWorld is waiting for this manatee. You can now see the top of the manatee, the weight approximately anywhere from 900 to 1,000 pounds. The crowd is starting to gasp. The manatee is being raised. We are told it is alive. This is not the type of rescue you have every day, but Jacksonville Fire Rescue and City Cruise, an amazing job. And there you have it. You can hear the crowd, the applause. And now that manatee, as we said, immediately being taken into the manatee rescue truck, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Unbelievable. Look at that. And they say the manatee will be okay. So uh, we just heard Nadia, and forgive me for not remembering her, her last name at this time, but she is with Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. And she said, now what they're going to have to do is put the manatee down and then use some of their own weight to help carry this manatee onto the truck. And it's about 900 to 1,000 pounds there, Tark. And the children all standing around. Yeah, it's, it's just unbelievable. And as we're looking on, some of the, the uh, fire and rescue crew members, they, at moments, they have a smile on their face. There's a, there's a look of relief. They were very stressed about this. This was a very extensive process, rescue effort to get this manatee. And they wanted to make sure that they did it the right way without harming the manatee in any way. So you can now see the manatee. We're gonna let everyone just take a moment. You know, this was something where the manatee was discovered just after eight o'clock this morning. And you're right, everyone mobilized very quickly within at least an hour and a half, two hours. They shut down the street in, in every direction. You know, you had some paving that was still happening, but but it, the focus has been on rescuing this manatee from the very beginning. Everyone focused on getting this manatee out. And I'm telling you, as I look around, there, there are at least a good 30 to 40 people all involved in the operation of rescuing this manatee and everyone, all of the onlookers hopeful, just waiting for this moment that we now have. A very beautiful moment. And, and now we're hoping to see the manatee placed on the truck. It is being carried onto a lift, at least a good 10 to 15, yes. And now the applause again at every step they make in, in this rescue effort for the manatee. There has been applause, a lot of smiles in this crowd right now. And so now the manatee will be raised on a lift, put into the truck, and then they will drive away. So, But it's one of those things where you really want to see it until the very end where the manatee is actually in the truck and you know for sure that, that this manatee will be okay. You know, typically around this time of year, manatees are known for traveling south. They migrate to warmer, wa warmer water um, during this time. So one of the questions that we'll, we'll definitely want to get an answer to is just how did this manatee find its way all the way into this Ortega neighborhood in a storm pipe? But it is a very unbelievable story. When we walk around and talk to some of the uh, city crew members and also fire and rescue in the initial part of this rescue and look at them that is a heavy manatee those are at least and in the crowd of full of applause again there are at least 10 plus people and the manatee is now in the truck again the manatee will be taken down to orlando